Good morning and welcome to an all-new Eye of the Tiger. I'm Brian Nuevo. And I'm Kaya Whitney. We now have two and a half weeks left till winter break. Looking ahead to 2018, student-made videos will be featured material in next semester's ROAR lessons. Mrs. Handling's ERWC class produced eight ROAR PSA videos that will run during the spring 2018 ROAR lessons. The students learned how to use language effectively to express uh, ROAR and what it means to Roseville High School. Senior Anthony Morales participated in this project and believes this will help reinforce the values of ROAR around campus. Um, it will show, it gives them an example, uh, like uh, something to follow by when they need to be on task in class or in school in general. You can expect to view the full videos in January. RHS Marching Band and Color Guard went undefeated in this season's competitions. They placed first in their division in four competitions, including the championships in Stockton over break. Color Guard performer Melinda Gira and drummer major Hannah Melchner believe their latest competition was a success despite a nervous start. For our Stockton competition, we didn't know what we were really up against because we always go first. So we didn't know if we were better or worse than other shows that we were competing against. Because this show was a little more complex and difficult than last year and also having to teach the freshmen because they all did really good but everyone starts off shaky. I started off shaky and like all the seniors probably started off shaky so it's always tough to start off with something new but everyone ended up pulling off so. Dom Taylor of EOTSN will give us a sports update right after this commercial break. Over 20 million teens already have their license. What are you waiting for? All Good Driving School is here to help you get on the road quickly and affordably. All Good Driving School has DMV approved online driver's education, free DMV practice tests, and quality behind the wheel training. Call 916-363-2669 for more information. Good morning and welcome to this Friday's edition of EOTSN. I'm Dominic Taylor. Star volleyball player Jacob Cole showed true resilience last year as he played almost the entire season with a knee injury that should have kept him sidelined. However, now that Cole and the volleyball team are healthy and preparing in the offseason, there are some outside factors concerning the fate of the success of their senior season. We go to Nathan Richardson with more. Senior Jacob Cole was a huge part of the team's success but struggled with injury. Uh, the injury I had was an osteochondral defect and that's when there's like cartilage behind the kneecap that's broken off and some bone fragments were broken off too. Battling the pain, Cole still made efforts to push his team to greater heights. I just, before when the injury was like in my knee, I just kept playing on it during the season last year because we were going to uh, pretty much state championships and I didn't want to not play that game. And I ended up getting a MVP of that game. So was, I'm pretty glad I kept playing on it. With the pressure of high expectations, Cole regards that the loss of seniors will be tough on the team to make another state run. I think this year we could win a uh, league again. I'm not sure if we could go all the way to winning NorCal's again because we lost a lot of our good seniors last year. But I definitely think we can win league again this year. With the new season on its way, Jacob Cole still has concern for a couple things for the team to be ready. Um, I'm worried about who our coach is going to be because we still don't have a coach yet. And uh, I'm also worried about how many people we're going to have on the team because I'm not sure if there's, there's not very many underclassmen I think they're going to be trying out this year. In other sports news, most winter sports are beginning this week as girls varsity basketball has already recorded their first win, a 57-47 victory over Placer. Girls basketball will travel to Bremerton, Washington today to play Olympic High School, marking the start of a pre-league schedule full of a host of teams from outside the state, including North Medford from Oregon and Juno Douglas from Alaska. Boys varsity basketball also began a season with the foundation game against Placer and won their first game in impressive fashion with an 87-54 beatdown. And that's it on your home for Roseville High School sports, top plays, breakdowns, and more. I have the Tiger Sports Network, EOTSN. And now we go over to entertainment. With the recent struggles in the DC Cinematic Universe, their newest movie, Justice League, keeps up the pace of lackluster films. While the character development in the show is okay, with good background story for most of them, some of the characters seem too over the top, either too goofy or too strong, and most characters have some kind of issues. 
Aquaman, played by Jason Momoa, and Cyborg, played by Ray Fisher, were the standout roles in the show. And Jason Momoa's character in the movie is similar to the role he played in Game of Thrones, which is really cool. And while the characters seemed really cool and full of emotion, the plotline was nearly non-existent for most of the movie, and was a complete mystery for the first 30 minutes. The villain in the movie is also very forgettable as well. The development of him was so poorly done that we had very little notion of what he was doing and why he was doing it. The biggest issue was the lack of action in the movie, with nearly a two hour movie and only 15 to 30 minutes of any kind of action, which was a real letdown for me and had me leaving the theater with an empty feeling in my stomach and I definitely had enough popcorn. Now we go back to news. Thanks Jackson. The RHS dance team visited Disneyland last week for the annual performance. The dance team's trip to Disneyland left the members busy but fulfilled as, according to dance captain Lauren Macias, they had enough time to practice their routines while bonding with one another. When we got there, we went on a bunch of rides and um, ate a lot of food. And then um, the second day we were there, we got to perform. So it was a 22 minute routine. And so we were each in, it was like it's essentially like a dance show. So we were each in um, four to three numbers. Fellow dance team captain Melanie Schroeder had been looking forward to attending for over a year and noticed there were quite a few discrepancies between typical dances at RHS and the ones she experienced in Disneyland. I remember my sophomore year, um, dance team went to Disneyland and I wanted to be on dance team and then I found out they go every other year, so I was really excited to go. Macias believed the audience enjoyed their performance and the time spent with their teammates helped them tighten their bond. Yeah, they did. It was our parents, so I feel like they have to like love us no matter what. But they actually really liked it. They said it was really good, yeah. Schroeder felt it was an incredible experience and was very appreciative of her time there. I like that we got to perform in front of such a big group of people and it was a good opportunity for our dance team. Switching gears to the dance program, dance classes are preparing for their winter show. Senior Clayton Stoffer is excited to be part of the All Boys Dances in his last holiday show. It's my senior year, so it's like the last hurrah as senior year. So there's two boys dances this show, so it's going to be a lot of fun because the boys dances are always crazy and chaotic. So Senior Tiffany Stewart encourages people to come see the variety of dances that will be featured at the show. Um, we offer lots of different styles from ballet to hip hop to clogging and tap. Um, so it's just going to be lots of fun, really holiday themed, and there's lots of different styles for everyone. Tickets for the show went on sale this week. You can buy them in the dance room or at the student services window. That's it for us today on Eye of the Tiger. And remember, we're always on at eyeofthetigernews.com. See you next time.